everybody. Guess you knew this video was coming. In the last few days since the release of this video, 40 years of men's goth fashion, you guys have been bombarding me with messages and emails and tweets. Please do a reaction to this video. Like, as if I wasn't going to. So I have purposely not watched the video yet and I have been trying to avoid anyone's comments on it and people are talking about it on Facebook. I'm like, oh, not looking. Because I don't want any kind of pre... I can't think of the word just now. Kind of... You know what I mean? I don't want to be like subconsciously swayed by anyone else's opinions or anything. So this is the latest video from, I don't know how to pronounce her name, I'm so sorry. It's either Lisa or Lisa. Le I can't pronounce it, there's no way. But I will link to her original video below so you can go have a watch it for yourself on her actual channel and tell her what you thought of it as well. Is it Lisa or Lisa? I don't know, it's, it's got two eyes. I don't know that much about her except that she seems to be an intelligent person and a capable filmmaker. Uh, when she made 40 years of goth fashion with women. It was a very well put together video, I thought. She is the author of the Encyclopedia Gothica, which I have not read yet, but I would really like to. I will also leave a link below to her book, Encyclopedia Gothica. My expectations for this video, she put out a trailer a few days before like a teaser trailer, and it looked pretty promising. It looked good. I had some pretty mixed feelings about the women's one that she did a few months ago, but well, let's have a good look at the back of my terribly decorated iPad. Let's watch 40 years of men's goth style in under five minutes together. Okay, impress me. Got my judging hat on. Yes, that's true. Good start with the puck. Where to now? Oh yeah, oh yes, new romantic. How does he look? Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, he looks cute. Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Perfect. Great. Perfect. He looks wonderful. Excellent. He looks... Wow, he looks good. Don't know if you're aware, but that is my personal favourite. Is the... Ah! Don't drop the thing. Don't drop the thing. Yeah, I think he looks really good. So far, really good. So far, good. Personally, I think everyone looks better with teased hair, but maybe that's just me. Alright. Good start. Oh yeah! <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Ah! Oh, God, that looks like so many people I know. Perfect. Hang on. Those are nice shoes. Oh yeah. I'm really liking this so far. Oh yeah, the, the kilt. The rubber or PVC clothes. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, the, the cyber goth. <laughs> I'm so far really impressed. This is very accurate, I think. Bondage pants. Oh my god. Bond his pants, respirators, and tube hair. And electrical tape. Where are we going with this? What? Sorry, not sorry. You should be sorry. What is this? Why? Why? No, why? <laughs> I had a horrible feeling this would turn up. Why is emo there? Why? 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 Emo is not- No! 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 This is not helping people differentiate between goth and emo. Not the same thing. Definitely not the same thing. Both wear black and have silly hairstyles and sometimes like to write sad poetry. I'm sorry, I don't think this belongs here. Let's carry on. Oh no! What's next? Oh, he looks good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. 
Edwardian, why not? Edwardian, Victorian, Neo Georgian. He looks really good. Feathers, cravat, top hat, chain. Very nice and stylish. Okay. Death Rock Revival. Yes! <laughs> I'm I'm all good with this. And it's true, it is really making a comeback. Like Death Rock and Trad Goth really making a big comeback. I I kind of secretly, not so secretly hope I've had a little bit of an influence there. That's great. He looks nice. <laughs> oh, why not? He looks really good. I'm interested to hear what you think, but I think that was really good. Apart from the emo bit. <laughs> I especially think that compared to the last video she did with the women, that that was way better. That was a thousand times better. In that video I had to raise my eyebrows a few times and this one, honestly, I think that was good. I think he looked amazing. I think he looked really, really good. Everyone looks better cool. Come on, let's be honest. I think those were really accurate. I think like the 90s vampire style really was bang on. A lot of people still look like that. That's the great thing about gothic fashion is it never really goes out of style. It's just more kinds of styles keep popping up which is quite, quite cool like it's something you can get really creative with like there really aren't any rules with it as such which is part of its beauty and appeal I think you can wear things that have been out of fashion for the longest time and still they look good people still rocking around in 80s fashion and making it look amazing and as you've seen Victorian and Edwardian and Neo Georgian I guess the majority of my friend circle would be within the 80s trad goth or the death rock or 90s long dark hair style whereas things like cyber goth is sort of under the same umbrella but it's like sort of its own community now really and industrial I think that was really good too I know a lot of people like that and I think as far as those looks go she really hit the nail on the head and I think it was really good I just don't know why emo was in there I don't know I just mm, that's not even it's not even no no, no, no. The average person doesn't know that goth and emo are different things because they see people wearing all black looking a bit sad <laughs> with like silly hairstyles and they, they don't know that it's two different things. It's two different things. It's two different things. I don't know anything about emo. The music's completely different. Emo and goth, not the same, not the same thing. Not the same. Have I said that enough times? So that's my that's my two cents. And now because this is a men's fashion video, I thought it would be only appropriate to get the opinion of my husband. If you're not familiar with him, he's very much into the traditional 80s style and music and everything about him is that or grufti as they call it here in Germany. So he's watching the video too and let's see what he has to say. I can't see how amazing your hair is. <laughs> can't really get an angle where I can fit in all of your hair. Okay, so I found a man to comment on the men's fashion thing. Hi. Hi. I don't know, all in once I thought that was quite nice. Started with 1976 punk rock. I just thought that guy looks a bit, guy looks a bit too clean. He did look a bit too clean though. He was, I think to really pull off punk you have to look like you haven't washed. <laughs> Especially in those days. Yeah, and also the clothing and stuff. It yeah. looked like, oh yeah, just came out of the washing machine. <laughs> yeah. But I like the fact that he was wearing a safety pin beside his lips. So. Yeah, that was cool. What did you think of the Death Rock revival? Oh, uh, Do you think we're having a Death Rock revival? To start with, I don't know. I didn't know that we apparently have a Death Rock revival. <laughs> would be nice, would be cool. Uh, I think you know, we kind more, of more. are. There seems to be a lot more people who are kind of into it lately. I don't know, that's just my observations from being in the world. Let's hope so. Maybe this will help encourage one. Emo. I don't know, like there, Emo. Were, there were so many <laughs> things that could have been in there instead. Like, I don't know. I feel like maybe Neofog would have been cool. Well she a good replacement. She for that. she arranged the emo style on that guy absolutely perfect. Yeah, he did look good. But would you say that emo is a goth style? No, no, not at all. That has nothing to do with that. It's like two different subjects, two different kinds of music. So the 1980s new romantic style. Yeah, I'm mm. really glad that she included that. The thing is he did look very much like Susie Sue, from my opinion. When I think of New Romantic, I rather think of, you know, this Blitz Club with Steve Strange and all this, all this colorful dressed 
people with like white makeup and a big blue star on the face or something like Steve yeah. Strange and like feathers and like interesting hats and stuff what I think about New Romantic. Something I've noticed is that with these kinds of videos and pictures where people list like goth styles and that like people will always make comments saying oh I'm this or I'm this or I don't know what I am. I don't think you need to pick one but I think that these are good like generalizations. They are good generalizations but you don't have to be one of those things. You don't have to say oh I'm this oh I'm that no you don't. it's a self-expression thing and I think if someone tells you that you're not doing it right or something that you are you're like no you're a death rocker you're not allowed to wear Lolita sometimes or listen to Emily Autumn or whatever or oh, you're <laughs> a death rocker allowed. you're not allowed to EBM music or yeah exactly uh, uh, no you're this kind of person you're not allowed to be that kind of person as well choose one uh, I think that's <laughs> bullshit you know you can mix styles together you can yeah, basically you can do what you like. I think neofolk or some military style would have been better than putting emo in there. What would have what what could have been there instead of emo? Yeah, like you said, neofolk or some. I would have put all metalers actually. It's like goth kind of like metal. metal goth crossover thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like kind of quite a big deal. Who's, like who's listening to like type that. or negative and stuff? And yeah, and that's probably from around the same period too. I would say that Why fit a bit better than emo. <laughs> at like goth festivals you do get a lot of like metal bands playing. There'll be fuck tons of metal bands playing but there won't ever be any emo bands playing mm -hmm. I've noticed because they're not the same subculture. Well I think it was a good video and you think it was a good video? Yeah I liked it. I think she did pretty well. Apart from that one bit. I think it was pretty spot on. I would love to hear what you guys think. So please do feel free to leave your opinion below in the comment section if you agree with me or if you disagree with me or whatever. Like I said, I will also link the original video below this one so you can go have a look at that and give the filmmaker some love. And if you have yet to do so, please hit the big red button below and subscribe to my lovely spooky channel and become one of us. Become one of us. Say it together. Become one of us. Aww. Become one of us. Become, Become one, one of us. us. Become, Become one, one of us. us. So thank you very much for joining us and watching this lovely video together. Like I said, I would love to hear what you think. So anyway, as always, take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Cheers.